heart of Florida, a lake like no other, where nature sets the rules and people are not the only predator. A new season begins. Practice is over. Put it all on the line and prove you belong with the best. Champions get no privileges. Comebacks must be earned. In this arena, anyone can be a winner. Skill and speed are all that matters. Ten made it this far. Who will go all the way to the top and win $100,000? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that bad yeah. boy. Oh. oh, yeah! Yeah! Lauren Tucker! $500,000 record! 2005 will forever be remembered as the year of the hurricane in the United States. And Clewiston, Florida was not spared the damage. Homes were destroyed and lives were changed including those hosting our first event of the season. This is Lake Okeechobee, and even though plenty of signs still remain and remind us of the hurricane season, one thing still remains the same on this monstrous Florida body of water. Big bass. The biggest we'll see all year, so what a way to kick off the season. It's the first event of the 2006 Walmart FLW Tour. From the Big O in Clewiston, Florida, this event presented by Snickers. Hello everyone, I'm Keith Leibowitz along with Charlie Evans. We are delighted to have you here with us for what promises to be one of the most exciting bass fishing tournaments you have ever seen. 10 pros remain in a field that began with 200 of the world's best and our defending champion is looking to go back to back in 2006. Kelly Jordan is in the zone again, what he calls the 30 zone. 30 minutes of fantastic fishing last year on the final day that brought him from 10 pounds back to the ultimate championship, $100,000. His first victory in the FLW Tour, he's looking for his second right here. Another guy that you better look out for is Shinichi Fukai. He won the Land O'Lakes Angler of the Year title in 2004. Shin struggled mightily in 2005. Now, he'd like to prove that 2004 was no fluke. His rookie year, he took America by storm. Last year, he couldn't do anything right. Now he says he wants to prove that he's the man to beat here. But Jordan and Fukai are just two of the 10 anglers who made the cut after the first two days of competition. And all of them will have their weights reset at zero this morning. It's anyone's game. Tommy Biffle, our top qualifier. And all eyes are on last year's champion, Kelly Jordan, after his strong opening round. If he can do it again, he will be only the second pro in FLW Tour history to win an event two years in a row. Oh, it feels great to have the chance to, uh, you know, make the cut again. I mean, it's probably a dream to make the cut. Uh, took it to death, I did, and got two days to try to pull it off again. That, that would be a dream come true, let me tell you. But there's some incredible fishermen that made the cut as well, so it's a long road to hoe, but uh, I'll be swinging for it, that's for sure. Another angler from last year's top 10 making a return appearance this year is BF Goodrich pro Chad Grigsby. A lot of guys are going to get a big bite, but you still got to get him in the boat. So it's hard to get him out, but the guys that do that are going to excel. And looking for a comeback victory, Shinichi Fukai is giving this tournament all he's got. Just ask him how much he slept last night. Two, three hours. I'm tired. And hungry. Fish eat hungry. Just in case you thought fishing for a living sounds like a long vacation, look at this. How many other sports begin before dawn? This is not just a test of skill, Charlie. It's also one of endurance. You're exactly right. These guys do start way before dawn, and they do this in practice days and in competition days. The time they finish up at night with their tackle, it's way after dark. The top 10 anglers in each category advance to the final rounds. The co-angler champion will be decided today. The pros will combine their weights from today and tomorrow to decide their champion. They had to give it their all just to make the cut, but now they have to start all over again. Opening round standings don't matter anymore. There are huge fish on the Big O, but finding them may be tricky this year. This lake was battered by Hurricane Wilma. It's not the same as it was. The vegetation was torn up, and clear water is extremely difficult to find. And water levels are at an all-time high. We are in the center of the state of Florida on a lake covering more than 750 square miles. It's so big you can see it from space. But in all that water, the fishing is concentrated in just a few small areas. The favorite spot this week, an area called Moonshine Bay. That's where we find Kelly Jordan with his co-angler Brian Thrift fishing out of the Walmart boat 
Now, Jordan got on the big fish right at the start of this tournament. Just like last year, he's the guy to beat. And moments ago, he found this fish. This is a big one. Come on, baby, be on there. Getting him out of that stuff is really tough. She's gone. I know she is. Oh, man. He lost that big fish, got tangled up in the vegetation. Heartbreaker for Kelly Jordan to start the day. That's the agony and defeat right there. We're not defeated yet, though, but... Can't lose us. That was about the biggest fish I've hooked so far in this tournament. That was a monster. I guarantee that fish was over seven or eight pounds. Ugh. That's the difference between winning and losing. You get the big bites, you gotta get them in the boat. Here now is a pro in his first FLW top 10. His name is Keith Case. He's with us going with Ron Chapman, and Keith has a fish on here. Good one. Got it headed toward the boat. Hear that braided line. Damn. Good way to get started right there. That's a great way to get started. Beautiful. About three and three quarter. Good way to start the day. That's the kind of fish he needs to keep him alive in this competition. Welcome now to Chad Grigsby, who is fishing today with Lee Teeter in the back of the boat. Chad made the top 10 here last year, but a lot has happened in his personal life since then. As he told us, he's coming into this tournament with a whole new outlook. Four top 10s in the last year. He's BF Goodrich Pro, Chad Grigsby. Do we want to talk about that? Oh, I got married. This is my lovely bride, Bridget. Best thing I've ever done. Now I'm, you know, starting a family, so it's a little, little more in perspective. I finished second in the championship last year. It kind of worked. And uh, as far as momentum going in, everyone starts over. I want to make all six cuts. He's in sixth place right now. Every tournament that I go out, I try to win. That's my goal. Oh, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm confident in what I do, and I like to think I'm pretty good at it, but I still haven't sealed the deal. And I don't believe anyone's due, but I think eventually if I work hard and you know, do my job, I think I can get a win. He needs it. <laughs> These guys go through money. <laughs> no. After four years on the tour, he is hungry for his first win. That one's way back in the vegetation, but he's manhandling that fish out, get him into the boat. Good job with the co-angler. That's a real good fish. That's a good start. I gotta tell you, he's using a big, strong pole, strong fishing line, and a lot of power to get those fish out of the vegetation and into the boat. And that fish goes into the live well. It is game on here at the Big O. The anglers are on the hunt for the big bass and the big bucks. The competition just getting started. Much more ahead on Walmart FLW Outdoors. You know, it's typical around Pascagoula River that it's it's fog. When it rolls in in this part, I mean, you can't, you have a hard time seeing 10 feet in front of your face. So, 11.30 at night, here I go, hoping that I, Walmart will have that uh, GPS I need. There was an associate right there putting some tackle on the shelf, pulls this GPS out of the case, and it's just the one I need. I mean, I don't think there's anywhere else that you can run to at 11.30 at night and pick up a GPS, and that, that's, that's a true story. Introducing the all-new 2007 Chevy Tahoe with available features like a power remote lift gate. Power release fold and tumble second row seats. And rear view camera system. Chevy Tahoe, an American revolution. Nobody can tell you. Um, Steve, we just want to let you know we know you're bald. We think you should stop wearing the Snickers. What do you mean? It's not fooling anyone. <laughs> what? But you got Yamaha VMAX HPDI Outboards define performance. 
you're out of the hole before you can say trophy catch. 1,000 PSI high pressure direct injection mated to an innovative contoured lower unit delivers acceleration, top end speed, fuel economy, and straight tracking control you've got to experience to believe. Even the biggest bass boat can fly with a Yamaha VMAX HPDI. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Walmart and FLW Outdoors from Lake Okeechobee is brought to you by Walmart. Always low prices, always. Snicker. Going fishing? Grab a Snicker. Chevy. The official vehicle of FLW Outdoors. A&W. America's favorite root beer. Evan Root. Root that two is greater than four. And Fujifilm. Get the picture. Like any body of water, Lake Okeechobee is always changing, but the changes have been especially dramatic this year. Hurricane Wilma left its mark last October. The lake and the people who live around it are still recovering. I saw aluminum. I saw docks flying by and uh, the most amount of wind I have ever seen in my life. The damages we had at the marina, close to a million and a half dollars. It did a lot of damage to all the businesses in town. Basically, the town was shut down for a couple weeks. Our community responded so well. Neighbors helping neighbors, they were prepared. American Red Cross came in with their were feed wagons and the feeding station, and you couldn't have asked for better folks. With a heart to serve a community, they were so good. It's amazing the amount of devastation that they had to three months later hold, you know, one of the biggest tournaments in the world right here in this small town. My hat's off to everybody in the town of Clewis, and they really did a great job. It, the town looks a little different, a few less trees, but the, you know everybody's in a great mood and optimistic about the tournament being here, and uh, they're going to be a big turnout at the weigh in so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're just so proud that FLW loves Clewiston as much as we do. They're like family. What an incredible comeback. Here's Kelly Jordan now. He lost that big one earlier, but seems unfazed by all the changes the hurricane left behind on this lake, Charlie. He's doing what he enjoys best, flipping vegetation into the thick mats. Got one hooked up here, putting a lot of muscle behind it. Yeah. Get it into the net. Thanks, partner. Yeah. Nice one. The one I lost earlier could have ate this one, but we like him like this. This is good. That is a good solid keeper again. Flipping back into the really thick stuff. That's where the big ones live. But it's tough getting them out of there. He lost one earlier in the day. This one here, good hook set. Really muscly up out of that vegetation. Get him up on top and get him into the net. And look at the pull on that rod. Kelly had to work extremely hard to get it into the boat. Whew, it's about a three pounder. He wants something bigger, but he'll take it. Like most anglers this week, Kelly is fishing here in Moonshine Bay on the west side of the lake. But not everyone is following the crowd. As you can see here on our Lowrance map, two of our top 10 pros went the other direction, to South Bay. One of them is Chevy Pro, David Fritz. Yep. Got a good fish hooked up here. Taking his time with him. Good catch. Well, I tell you what, though, they're small. I guess it's better than not catching any. Absolutely. Getting five keepers in the boat, that's what counts. But you know, on Okeechobee, it only takes one or two of the right bites at any time, and you're in business. That's, I mean, that's the good thing about Okeechobee. Here now is Shinichi Fukai with his co-angler, Fred Martin. Again, Shin, the 2004 Land O'Lakes Angler of the Year, really trying to prove, as we said at the top, that that was no fluke. Struggled in 2005. He's on one here. Oh, he lost him. That really hurts. Let's have another look. Shin's making big, long cast in that clear water with the Senko, working it really slow. Gets a good hook set here. Bites the fish up to the top of the water, has him coming his way. And then, look, right here. Here's the lure. It comes out of his mouth. 
just comes unbuckled, bad luck for Sheehan. A surprisingly tough start of the day for some of these anglers. Kelly Jordan is on the move, still searching for the big one. Hi, I'm Kelly Jordan. We're at Lake Okeechobee. Stay tuned for a little bit more FLW action. This event began with 200 pro anglers. For two dozen of them, it was their rookie tournament. Thanks to hard work and a lot of skill, their dreams of becoming Walmart FLW Tour pros have come true. Hey, I'm Kevin Long. Hey, I'm Derek Jones. Hey, I'm Gabe Boulevard. And I'm a rookie. And I'm a rookie. And I'm a rookie on the FLW Tour. You are now not on the boater side. You're on the professional side. You're a professional. An absolute dream, really, to be able to make that step day one. All of a sudden, you're fishing against all your heroes. And rookies nowadays are very well seasoned fishermen. Look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. Wow. So when they come to the FLW Tour, they're ready to go. And they've already proven themselves. They're not really rookies. They've been on the trail. They started out in the BFL, and then the Everstart, and then you get up to FLW and feel a lot more confident when you finally get up here. I feel like I've arrived. I feel like I'm here. This is where I want to be. I'm, I'm excited to make my own decisions. I like to try to shock everybody, shock the world. So. If I continue to work hard and fish smooth, I think I can have a chance to compete with these guys. Well, you can look at Bobby Lane's year last year, and uh, he made three cuts in a row. That's, you know, that's pretty impressive. So, you know, it gives all rookies a, a hope. You got the hardest thing out of the way, and that was getting the first day of your FLW career in. I'm definitely enjoying the moment, and I look forward to the rest of the season. Good luck to all the rookies. Last year, Keith Pace was a rookie yeah. pro. Oh, he's got a big Another one. Big. This is a good fish. Yeah. Good, solid keeper. He was the 2004 FLW Tour co-angler of the year before turning pro last year. A tough time last year, but off to a great start this year in the National Guard Club. That goes into the live well, and we move back over it. to South Bay and Chevy Pro David Fritz. Looking for his limit fish. He has four in the boat already, looking for number five. That's a big fish there. He's got number five on, taking his time with this fish. Over here. This is a big fish. Take the time. Make sure he gets him into the boat. Get him. Thank you, sir. That'll help. That'll help a bunch. That will help right there. That's what we come in here to catch. Nice job by the Chevy Pro. The fish are also fighting for our other South Bay Pro, Shinichi Fukai. He has been on a hot streak in the last 10 minutes. Looking back, Shinichi Fukai yep. has been reeling fish after fish into on. the Fuji film boat. That one was about a two pounder, and then within 10 minutes, another one almost the same size. Now he's looking for fish number three as we come back to live action. Also needs to catch something a lot bigger. Got one on here. Fred Martin, his co angler. There's keeper number three. Hank Cole. Sinkhole, sinkhole. All three of them caught on a Senko, but he needs bigger fish than that. Back now to the Walmart boat and the Moonshine Bay with our defending champion, Kelly Jordan, who is still flipping the mats. He loves to flip mats, gets that bait right into the thick stuff where the big ones live, but again, getting them out of there is the tough part. It's really thick down under that vegetation. That's where big fish love to hide back in the shade, drop the bait down through the mat, jiggle it up and down nice and slow to get the fish's attention. When he gets it, jerk hard and try to get him through, but sometimes they just come loose. Can't get them out through that thick stuff. He's got to set the hook really hard, put the power to him, jerk him right out of there. He's putting the power to this one and gets it into the boat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Clean air, jerks it right into the boat. And if you look at it again, not only does he make a great hook set, he puts it into the boat and right off the chest of his co-angler, Brian Thrift. Bam! Just like that. Still trying to recover from losing that 12-pounder. You know, it grows about a pound an hour, you know? When you lose a 9-pounder, it's a 10 the next hour, then it's an 11, then it's, it's gonna be about a 14 by the end of the day, by the weigh-in. Another fish story. Hi, I'm David Fritz. You better hang on. You're getting ready to see some really big fish come in here at Lake Okeechobee. At Pedigree, we're for shelter dogs. Katie, Winston, Frankie, 
and the millions of other dogs we know that need homes. We're for shelter dogs. And when you buy Pedigree, we make a donation to help them find loving homes. The Pedigree Adoption Drive. Help us help dogs. Get in the shot. Tom, get in the shot. Here we are, we're at base camp three, day four. Uh, conditions are clear. We begin our ascent in a... Uh, I saw you! Uh, Have you had your Tyson protein today? Try Tyson fully cooked hickory smoked bacon, naturally smoked for a deep, bold taste, and packed with energy to keep you and your family going strong. Tubing with the kids, powered by Tyson. With aggressive performance and incredible value, the Ranger 188 VS is a powerful edge in the demanding world of competitive angling. With faster hold shots and an ultra smooth ride, the 188's muscle car feel reinforces its total performance design. Check out the feature packed value and great price of the Ranger 188 VS at your Ranger dealer. Discover the power of Evinrude at Evinrude 2 is greater than 4. meaningful to him. Uh, you know, Daddy always had time to take me fishing. It was just such a major part of our lives that, uh, you know, and, and it, it was like going to get the mail every day. On the weekend, we went fishing. I lost my father about five days ago. I really had to think long and hard whether or not I should be at this tournament. I think Daddy would kick my tail if I wasn't here in Florida this week. He would see to it that I would be here. So I was fortunate enough that I dedicated the year to him. I really feel his presence with me here at Okeechobee. I tell you, this is a special tournament for me. Even though we're fishing for whew, $100,000, um, I still think about my father uh, every minute. and. Uh, nearly every cast. We'd like to send Carl and his family condolences from our entire FLW Outdoors family. Back out on the water now, we're looking at the opening round leader, Tommy Biffle and his co-angler, Daryl Stevens. Tommy doing what he loves to do, flipping tight cover. Tighter the better. Yeah. Got one hooked up. I got it, I got it. Didn't need a net there, flipped him right into the boat. Hey, small. But he's the one, and he's the first one. So, uh, you're always glad to get him. I'll take five little ones. Didn't worry about catching a big one. Nice job for Tommy Biffle. He is on the board. Now to a pro making his Walmart FLW Tour top 10 debut, Sean Hernke, fishing with co-angler Randy Clark. Sean's really excited. This is his third year on the FLW Tour, his first top 10. He's hooked up here. This could be a career-changing moment for him. There we go. You say career-changing moment. We talked with Sean after he qualified for the top 10. He said that this has given him the confidence that he's been looking for. Unbelievable. What must seem unbelievable to some of these anglers, like Chad Grigsby, is how hard it is to land big bass this morning. Chad is flipping. Got one hooked up here. Rips it out of the cover into the boat. He's flipping a sweet beaver there, right into that thick, heavy cover. He made three top tens last year. This is his first top ten this year, but he wants to win one bad. Back down to South Bay in Shinichi Fukai, who's having no trouble filling his live well. He's landed six keepers already this morning. He is on number seven. Yep. Big one. Big one, he says. Got it headed this way. 
Oh, that is a nice fish. Get throwing that Cinco. You can only bring five to the scales. Look at that. Woo! That one will call one of his smaller fish. Get rid of one of the smaller ones. Put in that bigger one. You can only keep five. A heavier limit now for Fukai. I'm going to wait for you. I've been waiting for you, he said. The fishing is good as South Bay. They're struggling a bit in Moonshine Bay. But plenty more action still ahead on Walmart FLW Outdoors. Ooh, the magic fudge pot. Yes, sir. And it puts the perfect amount of fudge on every kind of cookie? Indeed. Ooh, fudge stripes. Fudge sticks. Looks great. So much for the shorts Suppers. documentary. Peanut uncommonly butter. made, Caramel. uncommonly good. With sludge in your engine, it feels like something's holding your car back. Let me guess, 16. <laughs> That's why there's Castrol GTX. Compared to leading oils, it's the best protection against thermal breakdown and maximum protection against sludge buildup. Don't let sludge hold your car back. Get Castrol GTX. It's more than just oil. It's liquid engineering. If the community calls on you, the National Guard's there. We put ourselves right into the heart of the storm. Hurricanes. Terrorism. Search and rescue. Wherever we're needed, we're there. That's what the National Guard is all about. I use the skills that I learned in the Guard every day. The National Guard is paying for my college and books. Everything is well covered. We became a team at Ground Zero. Bosnia. Afghanistan. And Iraq. This is your brother, this is your sister. You gotta look out for each other. I would do it again. And I would do the mission. That's my duty. That's my responsibility. I'm proud to be in the National Guard. Visit 1-800-GoGuard.com. It's called Fujifilm Real Photo Technology, and it's only in the FinePix Z1 and F10 digital cameras. It can mean the difference between blurry and sharp, murky or clear, washed out or natural. The Fujifilm FinePix Z1 and F10, the difference between conventional digital and digital with real photo technology. Take digital to a higher level. Ooh, the magic fudge pot. Yes, sir. And it puts the perfect amount of fudge on every kind of cookie? Indeed. Ooh, fudge stripes. Fudge sticks. Looks great. So much for the shorts Suppers. documentary. Uncommonly made. Caramel. Uncommonly good. You know, flipping bats is one of the pro's favorite approaches to Okeechobee Bass, but it's not the only one. Mike Hawks got in on the big ones early and led on day one with a hefty 19-pound, 12-ounce stringer. He shows us one of his favorite baits for catching hogs in today's Fishing 101, presented by B.F. Goodman. One technique that works real well in the springtime when it starts to warm up and the flowers start to bloom is throwing a soft plastic buzz bait. To throw this bait, before you do anything else, you need to have the right equipment. You need to have a rod that's pretty stiff, usually about a seven footer, this is a 610 that I use. The reel you need to use needs to be a high speed model. You don't want anything that reels real slow for this technique. You need to be able to burn that line if you need it. And you need to use braided line. The braided line has no stretch and you need that to be able to set the hook and get the fish out of the cover. And you take the bait, it's got a fin on top and a slot in the bottom. And you want to take the hook and run it back up through that slot as you Texas rig it weightless. You come in the nose, come out the bottom, Pull the eye down into the nose of the bait. Run the hook through the slot in the bottom. It's got a little fin on top, and you take that little fin, and you pinch it, and you run the tip of the hook into that fin to make the bait totally weedless. Cast the soft plastic buzz bait right up in the heavy cover. Get it up on top as quick as you can, and keep your rod at a 45 degree angle. And get ready when that big one tries to take it away from you. <laughs> With these tips, using a soft plastic buzz bait, I hope you catch more bass than you do gators. One more fishing secrets from Mike Hawks and other FLW pros. Log on to FLWoutdoors.com to watch all of our Fishing 101 lessons. And if you want more tips, call 877-270-JOIN to subscribe to FLW Outdoors Magazine. Here's Lawrence Pro, Tommy Biffle at Moonshine Bay. Oh! Dang. Broke his line. That one broke him off. What a bad break. Net. Tommy's got the line in his hand, hand still. This one in. It's a good one, too. Over here. And the fish is still <laughs> on. We got him. Get him. Yeah! <laughs> uh. 
Now I broke the line. Broke the line, but I hand lined him. <laughs> That's absolutely unbelievable. He's four pounds, three and a half. What a lucky break for Ooh. Tommy Biffle. That's that's when your luck's running right. Amazing. Here's a guy who can't do anything wrong today. Shinichi Fukai on the prowl for fish number nine, and he's got it on. Well, that sickle is really working good for him. Catching lots of fish, he needs to get heavier fish so he can call up. Again, he can only bring five to the weigh-in scales. Everything else he releases back into the lake. That one will help. Shin is hot. Back now over to Keith Pace in the National Guard boat. You got a good one. Huh? Huh? It's co-anchor Ron Chapman. Oh, yeah. On a big one. Oh, that'll go a long ways for you. Oh, my God. That's a good one, that. That's a, not just a good one. That's a huge fish. That could win the co-anchor side of this tournament. Ron Chapman, the father of FLW Tour Pro, Brent Chapman looking to Bring home the co-angler crown. Here's Kelly Jordan now, out of the Walmart boat. After a rough start, he's back on the chain, though. Already has a limit in the boat. This is keeper number six if he gets it in. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, partner. He'll have to call now. Yeah. Last thing the other nine pros want, is this guy getting hot at the big O. Look at the hook set by KJ. He's putting a lot of power into the hook set, moving that fish out of that vegetation, getting his head up and headed toward the boat. That's critical. Now, I told you there was bigger ones in here. Y'all were just making fun of me for catching that small one now. See what that'll get you? As of right now, we have four anglers within two pounds of one another. Chad Grigsby, Kelly Jordan, David Fritz, and Shinichi Fukai. A big bite by any one of those guys could separate them from the field. Any one of those or anybody else in the field, a monster hero like Okotobi can vault you through the standings. What you gotta do is get the bat and then get him into the boat. Here are Chip Harrison and his co-angler, James Fredo. Chip hasn't been on him today, but just look at how he did on day one. He had some beautiful big fish and lots of them executed perfectly, vaulted into the top 10. So far, he's only got one keeper in the boat, though, today, Charlie. Here could be number two. <laughs> Didn't need the net on that one, either. <laughs> Just pounds him into the boat. Not big, though. Not a pound and a half, but that will help every keeper helps. Big old haul, look. Hold it up close to the camera, so it look big. There you go. That's how they look big, right there. <laughs> On this lake, they can look big all by themselves. For the anglers today, it's just a matter of finding them, and one catch could make all the difference. Hi, I'm Chip Harrison. Stick around and watch me go for the big ones on Lake Okeechobee. Lorance is leading in finding with incredible new fish finders and GPS position finders that help you win in the great outdoors. The new LCX 25C and 26C HD color combos offer pro-grade sonar and GPS innovations, like the 26C's internal hard drive, preloaded with high-detail electronic charts, or the capability of both models to display plug-and-play mapping card options. The LCX 25C and 26C HD, new leading-edge products from Lorance. For those who never quit, the battery that never quits, the Energizer, keep going. It's pretty fast. The new E-Tech from Evinrude. It's time you got it. I think I got it. Over 467,000 acres. Lake Okeechobee is truly a wilderness, untamed and sometimes mysterious. But if it were a puzzle, this man 
would have it solved because Shinichi Fukai is on a roll like no other. This is his 17th fish of the day. Another one hooked up and it's jumping right into the net for it. I mean, you when you're hot when they jump into the net, and he is worn out from catching so many fish. He's found a great place down here in South Bay. Him and David Chris have it all up themselves. Great hook set for shit. I mean, he is fishing effectively. And he is on a lot of fish. He just needs to catch a big one or two, and he could take this tournament. I'd imagine the arms of co-angler Fred Martin are getting a little sore from bringing all these fish in. Nice catch there, but he's in a great area to catch him himself as well. He is calling up once again, again, replacing smaller fish with larger fish. He can only bring five to the scales, turning that one back through the lab and saying thanks a lot. All about catch and release. Keith Pace is fishing from the National Guard boat today. The Guard is sponsoring one of the most exciting new teams on tour. And as you would expect, they are dedicated. With its new team, the National Guard is putting more than just fishing ability on its roster. We looked at a myriad of different candidates to be anglers. Is this going to be somebody that is committed to his community, committed to the FLW, committed to what FLW stands for, and can stand up for the same values that the National Guard stands for? You're going to see some real rising stars in that group. It's, uh, it's just an honor to be a part of the, of the Guard team and uh, represent all that the Guard stands for. We're representing a, the country and all the men and women overseas that are fighting for us to be able to be out here and do this. Most people don't believe that I'm a sergeant in the National Guard, and I tell them that all the time that I intimidate people with my size and my deep voice. I love fishing, you know, just getting the chance to be here, no matter how bad the weather is, it's, there's nothing better than being out in the water. Melinda Mize characterizes a lot of the things that the Guard stands for. We originally picked her to be part of the Guard team. Shortly thereafter, her brigade was mobilized, and she had to make a choice. Her brigade commander even gave her the opportunity to say, you know, um, Melinda, we understand this is this is a huge opportunity for you. I think I went on like a roller coaster ride of emotions there for a while because you have all your dreams there, right at your fingertips. But I'm just like every other soldier, though. I'm no better. It was actually easy for me to say yes to go on my deployment. I feel like that's my purpose, that's my duty, to serve my country whenever they need me and not just walk away. It's hard putting everything on hold, but you know that there's a reason that you've got to go over there and do what you do. I know I'll be all right, it'll be a new experience. <laughs> when I'm practicing my casting over there, there's not gonna be anything to get hung up on. <laughs> it's just an honor to be a part and a partner with FLW. And I'm, I'm just extremely excited, as well as the leadership of the National Guard is extremely excited to be part of this. Keith Pace is doing them proud today. Four keepers already, plus that big one is co-angler Cox. He'd love to have that one. But he's hooked up to number Getting five it. right here. Got it up on top, keeping it out of the weeds. Oh, Lord. Big fish, really big fish. In the net. <laughs> wow, what a huge fish. Thank you. Eight or nine pounder there, buddy. Woo! <laughs> He's excited. That's what I'm talking about. One more of them, baby, I'm in. You got that right. He would definitely be in. Here's what he's throwing, a 3 8 ounce black and blue J. Ellis model Berkeley power jig with a pack-a-chunk trailer, and he's working it real slow. The only bait he's thrown all week long. Normally mild-mannered Keith Pace is indeed pumped up. Hi, I'm Keith Pace. Y'all stick around for more big fish from the Big O. They're America's most innovative total performance fishing machines. And with more best-in-class features than any other tournament rig, they've taken acceleration, handling, space, fishability, and all-out performance to new extremes. Go ahead, dare to dream. 
and join a whole new level of leadership. This is Beyond Evolution. This is the Ranger Z Comanche Series. Discover Yamaha's VMAX power. When you want the best, choose Yamaha. Welcome back to the first event of the 2006 Walmart FLW Tour. This is Lake Okeechobee, where giant bass are always just a cast away. Dean Rojas made a top 10 here last year. On the morning of day three, he landed an eight pound monster and he couldn't contain his excitement. That moment is today's Fujifilm Five Picks Photo Flashback. Give the net, give the net, give the net. When you're in the finals and you catch an 815 like that. Big fish, big fish. I'm a pretty excited guy when it, when it comes to catching big fish like that. Big fish. It's not every day you can catch an eight or a 10 pounder. I was pretty pumped. Yeah! I got it. Yeah! You just bleeding confidence. Yeah! Yeah! I had to let it out. I was just excited. Chip Harrison had a couple of big ones early in this tournament, but they are proving hard to find today for Chip. He's at four small keepers in the boat, looking for number five, and he's hooked up here. Well, we'll hit it to the boat, keep it up high. Good net job. Oh, now he can go looking for a big kicker fish. Back over now to BF Gimmage Pro, Chad Grigsby, still flipping over at Moonshine Bay. His second top 10 in a row on Lake Okeechobee, flipping in some real thick stuff. Hook it up here. This has got to be a good sized fish. And look how hard he's struggling to get it out of there. It's critical to get this one in the net. Yeah! Yeah! He's got to get it in the boat. Still not in. Woo! Now he's finally got that monster in the boat. Great fish. That'll help. That is as difficult a net job as we have seen. That'll help. That'll help a lot. That's a huge fish. Get a great hook set. A lot of momentum, moving that fish away from some of that thick vegetation, getting his head up. And you see right there how tough it is to pull these big bass out of that vegetation. Same one I just missed. Chad Grigsby now has fish number three, a high five to his co-angler for a great net job. That goes into the live well. We move over to Kelly Jordan, who is also working the heavy cover. He is still looking for one big fish to keep him safely in the game here. He's got four in the boat, set hook here. Way back in the middle of that mat. He's got this one moving fast. Yeah. And hit to the boat. Yeah, yeah. Skied that one into the boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I got one of these big suckers in the boat. Yeah. A fish like that, he could have his second win in a row here on Okeechobee. On the crowd tube. Great job, a lot of power. Kelly Jordan loves the flip, that big stick, that braided line, forcing those big monsters out of that grass. You gotta love that. Mm. Fish weighs 1,500 pounds. We'll take it. Here's Mark Harden fishing out of the ANW boat. What an incredible story. He's just lucky to be here. Find out why, coming up. Hi, I'm Mark Harden. Don't change that dial. You may miss the big fish coming up on the big O. Want to save thousands on the boat of your dreams? It's easy. Log on to BoatShowDeals.com and get up to $10,000 in instant savings on over 200 models of boats from 12 of America's premier boat companies. Whether you're into freshwater or blue water fishing, water skiing, cruising, or family fun, you'll find your perfect boat at BoatShowDeals.com. Don't wait. The best deals will be gone soon. So log on today. Click on BoatShowDeals.com. Hurry. These deals are available for a limited time only, so log on right now. Nobody can tell you. Um, Steve, we just want to let you know we know you're bald. We think you should stop wearing the Snickers. What do you mean? It's not fooling anyone. <laughs> what? But you've got to Introducing the all-new 2007 Chevy Tahoe with available features like a power remote lift gate. Power release fold and tumble second row seats. And 
rear view camera system. Chevy Tahoe, an American revolution. Yamaha VMAX HPDI Outboards define performance. You're out of the hole before you can say trophy catch. 1,000 PSI high pressure direct injection. Mated to an innovative contoured lower unit delivers acceleration, top end speed, fuel economy, and straight tracking control you've got to experience to believe. Even the biggest bass boat can fly with a Yamaha VMAX HPDI. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Get in on the action by playing FLW Outdoors Fantasy Fishing Challenge. Log on to FLWOutdoors.com and choose your own pro team for the next event. Pick the top five anglers and you could win $5,000. It's free to enter, so log on now. The clock is ticking down, but every moment can make the difference if it means you catch your kicker fish and Mark Harden is still trying to find it. Now, last year at this time, Mark Harden had appendicitis. He was laid up in a hospital bed, had his appendix out, and missed the event here at Okeechobee. This year, he's making up for lost time. He's qualified in the top 10. Flipping heavy vegetation here, right into the mat. Got one hooked up. Good fish, you gotta get him out of there though. That makes a difference. Everybody can find him. Getting him out can make you a winner. Can't even see this fish. Co-anglers digging for it down there, digging down in the weeds. Jerry Goble, he's got a hold of it. Oh, nice. And got it in the boat. Beautiful fish. Hook all the to get it to the fight. Oh, man. Time we got. 226. We got to go. He does have to go. He has to be back at the marina by 3 o'clock or he will be penalized. But for a big fish, that's a gamble any of these pros are willing to take. As they head back, some guys had a great day, others lost some fish. We'll see at the way in how it went. As we watch the boats pull into the marina, you can see blue tarps still covering some of the damaged roofs from the hurricane. This lake isn't called the Big O for nothing. Even if they were elusive today, it is legendary for big bass. We saw a lot of them over the first two days of this event, so many in fact that we have a tie for the Snickers Big Bass Award. Rookie co-angler Jake Deeds had the title locked up with this nine pound, two ounce hog on day two. That was until Clifford Perch weighed in one exactly the same size and nearly as big as his daughter. Compliments of Snickers, the two of them will split 2,125 bucks between them, grabbing the biggest fish of the opening round and they'll have bragging rights for some time to come. The weigh-in tent at the Okeechobee Walmart is already packed with fans. They've been enjoying the free fun zone outside. Now, everyone is waiting to see what the anglers are going to bring to the stage. Charlie Evans is inside, and the weigh-in is about to begin. Keith Pace, who fished out of the National Guard boat, was 10th after the first round, and he is first to the scales. Here comes number four. And reaching for number five. Wow. He sets the bar high with a 17-pound, five-ounce limit, and for now, Pace is in the lead. But there are nine other anglers still to come. Chevy Pro David Fritz brings in a limit weighing 12-12, not enough to take the lead. Sean Hernke, fishing out of the Snickers boat, is even further back with just a three-pound and 15-ounce limit. The F. Goodrich Pro Chad Grigsby has three in his bag. They weigh nine pounds even. Dale Teeny has a limit. They only add up to six pounds. Then it's Shinichi Fukai. His consistent catches all day long gave him plenty for a limit. 14 pounds and one ounce. But it's not enough to take the lead from Keith Pace. Chip Harrison's limit is just under 10 pounds. As are the four fish Tommy Biffle brings in. Clark Harden has just three, but one of them is a whopper. Together, they add up to nine pounds and one ounce. Another big one, and he might have had the lead. We'll see if he pulls it off tomorrow. Defending champion Kelly Jordan gets off to a good start, and he's got a limit. Let's 
That's a good solid limit. My fish here, they weigh a total of 16 pounds, two ounces. A solid day for Jordan, who's now in second place. And keep pace, we'll be leading the pack, heading into tomorrow's final round. And he will have to be on top of his game. Kelly Jordan is nipping at his heels. Shin Fukai and David Fritz are also too close for comfort. And with a few big Okeechobee bass tomorrow, anyone could be within striking distance of the trophy. The co-angler winner was decided today, and Tim Johnson, in his first FLW tournament, takes home the trophy with a limit weighing eight pounds, nine ounces. Not big by Okeechobee standards, but two pounds ahead of his nearest competition, he pockets $20,000. All of the co-angler finalists can be proud of their performances, and none of them are going away empty-handed. In fact, Fred Martin, who netted all those fish for Shinichi Fukai, netted himself 10 grand for second place. For the pros, there's still another day to go. One more day to figure out where the big ones are hiding. One more day to push themselves to the limit. One more chance to become a champion and win $100,000 at Lake Okeechobee. I'm kind of like the typical male. I, I don't believe in list. I just like to stick it all in my head, and I, as always, I usually forget something. I've probably been to Walmart six times since I've been here. From the entertainment center to back to get my fishing license. I've even been out the front door and then back inside because of something I forgot. From rods and reels to depth finders to GPSs and I mean all your hunting needs, it's amazing. I don't know how they get everything into that one store. Walmart FLW Outdoors from Lake Okeechobee is brought to you by Minkota, anywhere, anytime. Watkins, timeless comfort products since 1868. Brands. We lead, we find, you win. Kellogg, the best to you. Yamaha, reliability starts here. And Walmart, always low prices, always. For the 10 pros remaining in this year's Lake Okeechobee tournament, this is the moment of truth. If they've been having trouble catching big ones, it is their last chance to figure it out. If they've been on the fish, it is their last chance to prove they were not just lucky. It is the final day, and the pressure is on $100,000 hanging in the balance. Kelly Jordan looking to make history with back-to-back -back wins. Day three started slow for him, but by way in time, he was just a pound out of the lead. And he knows he can do it. When you've done that before, you know, caught them real quick, you know it can happen again, and you just got to stay with it, and you don't ever give up. Chad Grigsby is a familiar top 10 face, but he has never tasted victory on the FLW Tour. With just three fish on Friday, he has his work cut out for him now, and he knows what he needs to do to win this event. Out here, you have to have key fish. You land one of those, and it makes your day. I mean, you can catch a limit all day long, but if you don't have that big bite out here, you just can't compete. Shinichi Fukai on the comeback trail. A win here would put last year's ghost behind him for good. His day three gamble took him off the beaten path and right to the big bass, but he's not ready to celebrate just yet. <laughs> Not a celebrity yet. Keith Pace, a former co-angler champion, he wants to make his mark as a pro. And he's on his way. He is the leader heading into the final round. He just has to fight off nine other pros for one more day. I can't believe I made the top ten. One kicker fish and four nice fish a day will get you 100000 for both days. And that's what they're all after. Somewhere in Okeechobee's thick cover, the winning fish are waiting. These competitors have been training all their lives for this moment, a shot at the trophy and a $100,000 payday. Join us next time for the conclusion of the 2006 Walmart FLW Outdoors Lake Okeechobee Tournament. Log on to FLWOutdoors.com for complete tournament coverage and live webcast.
For Charlie Evans, I'm Keith Leibowitz. Thanks for watching.